Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here let's check out the top new games made with Unity released in September 2021. There's lots of great ones this month, and they are especially great in terms of teaching you how you absolutely need to make sure your game visually stands out. Almost every game on this list is very visually unique, and you couldn't possibly confuse it for anything else. That is also what you should be trying to do in your own games, make it immediately stand out as much as possible. That is where a great marketing starts, and again, these games are your competition. All of these games are uniquely impressive, and they showcase the power of the engine in tons of different scenarios, so the list is in no particular order, except for the number one game that is my personal pick of the month. By the way, there's a mega bundle happening right now on the Unity Asset Store. As usual, it's a super deep discount, up to 95% off. It contains lots of interesting tools, so there's one to help you manage an inventory database, another one for placing some decals and a terrain system, there's a digging system, you can slice meshes, volumetric VFX, and tons more. As usual, with such a deep discount, it's worth it if just one of these assets looks interesting. Check it out with the link in the description. Alright, so starting off at number 10 with one that's been upcoming for several years and finally came out, Sable. It was first announced at E3 in 2018, and the unique look caused everyone to pay attention right away. It's a very stylized world with some great music as you embark upon your journey and guide Sable through the vast deserts and mesmerizing landscapes. In terms of gameplay, it's an open-world exploration story-based game. You glide around, talking to people and exploring this visually unique world. It's also available on Game Pass, so if you have that, definitely look into it just to admire the visuals. Next up, another one that is also extremely visually unique, while also being very unique in terms of theme and mechanics, Potion Craft Alchemist Simulator. Like the name implies, you craft potions, and you do so in a very manual way, grinding flowers to dust, stirring the pot, managing the heat, and so on. Customers come into your shop and they demand certain potions. So then you go out, you grab some ingredients, use your tools, and craft the final potion. Combine ingredients to make your own custom recipes, so you can make a healing potion or maybe make some poison, customize your bottles in order to make your potions stand out. It really is a very unique concept, a very unique game, which when coupled with a unique, interesting look, really makes for something that has the potential to achieve quite massive success. It's only just come out of early access, and it already has over 2,000 very positive reviews. So definitely another great example on how to find success with a unique concept and some very good marketing. Then here's a nice indie sequel, Aragami 2. I played the first one quite a while ago, and I really enjoyed the concept. My only dislike was that the game felt really stiff. But by looking at the trailer for this one, it looks to solve that problem, so I'm very much looking forward to giving this one a try, since the concept is indeed very great. It's a stealth game where you play as an assassin with the power to control shadows. You're vulnerable in light, but you have the ability to blink between shadows and create some shadow areas. Lots of skills and abilities you can use to take out on your foes. You can also play solo or with friends for some interesting co-op action. This one is also available on Game Pass, so if you have that, definitely look into it. Then, if you want to just chill out for a bit, check out Cloud Gardens. It's all about using plants to make a post-apocalyptic world come to life. It's a very unique concept with a great visual style. In terms of gameplay, it's somewhere between a sandbox toy and a game with challenges. Relax as you place down objects, cover them in foliage and just keep doing that. It's a very zen-like, relaxing experience. You create beautiful dioramas and then just share them with your friends. By the way, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like button. It's a tiny thing, but it really does help. Thanks. Next up, for some VR, here is Iron Guard VR. It's a tower defense game. So on the one hand, you can build some towers. And with the other hand, you control a spaceship, letting you directly damage enemies. You have many towers to place, resources to gather, and upgrades to take out your enemies. Features 360 degree immersive gameplay with a unique storytelling, including voice acting. According to the reviews, the game is exactly just a tower defense game, so nothing else too unique, but if all you want is tower defense in VR, then this one is exactly that. And up next, one that just came out after a very successful time in early access, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. It's an epic RPG, play your hero your own way, very much focused on giving you plenty of choice to create exactly the character you want and play it in any way you desire. Choose from 25 classes, 12 races and over a thousand spells. Includes two modes for combat, real-time with pause or turn-based, so that's a pretty interesting feature, usually you only get just one or the other. The game features some truly gorgeous particle effects, tons of particles with lots of glow, lots of movement, everything looks really great. 
It does make me wonder if they're using VFX graph for these effects. Some of them look like tons and tons of particles, so they might be doing that. Choose your own path and lead your party to victory. It's got over 7,000 very positive reviews, so if you're interested in this genre, definitely give it a try. Then, if you've ever wanted to play as a mouse warrior, then check out Tales of Iron. It's an RPG adventure with some brutal combat, lots of enemies and bosses to battle, lots of weapons to try out and many companions to meet. This one features great use of 2D lighting, I believe they are indeed using the URP 2D renderer with the specific 2D lights. By using that, it does make the game look really gorgeous. Every scene is packed with detail, you've got several parallax backgrounds with some particles, all of it perfectly lit. And it also looks like maybe they are also using the 2D skeletal system. You can equip all kinds of weapons with your character and it works great with any animations. So if you're working on a 2D game with 2D lighting, definitely study how this game does it. Another one with a very unique look is Toem. It's in black and white with a nice mixture of 2D and 3D and a really interesting camera mechanic. It describes itself as a photo adventure. You set off on a delightful expedition and use your camera to uncover the mysteries of this world. It's a pre relaxing experience. You've got no combat. Meet some quirky characters and help solve their problems by snapping some neat photos and solving puzzles. This one is a great example of a unique game with a visual that sounds out immediately, which makes for some really great gifts. Because of that, it's already got a very nice amount of reviews with a nearly 100% positive rating. Then here's a really special one, Madness Project Nexus. It seems like an odd title, but as soon as I started watching the trailer, I got it right away. If you're around my age and you also played Flash games during your youth, then chances are you've played one of the Madness games or watched the videos. Those games were so good, they had the best shooting in pretty much any Flash game. Lots of particles, punchy sound effects, and awesome animations. So this game is exactly that, but with modern technology. They've somehow managed to convert the 2D sprites into 3D models in a way that looks perfectly awesome. It's got all of the arcade action you expect with tons of weapons and lots of crazy characters. And the game itself already has over 1500 overwhelmingly positive reviews. So this one clearly is not just nostalgia, it's an actually great game. And at number one for my personal pick of the month, here is Timberborn. It calls itself a lumberpunk city builder game. Basically, humanity is gone and beavers are all that's left. So can they rebuild better than the humans? That is the question. It is certainly a pretty unique theme. Being a game based on beavers, then naturally a lot of the mechanics revolve around controlling water, which makes it stand out from other city builders. You can terraform to create some new rivers, use the water to power your structures, and stay safe during the drought by saving up water during the wet times. Also features some very vertical construction, so instead of placing down a simple house, you can actually build it up with multiple levels and floors, so that looks like a pretty interesting mechanic. So if you've got a game idea where you want to learn how to add rivers and flowing water into your games, then study this one to see how the water behaves. It's already overwhelmingly positive, with over 2000 reviews at 95% positive. That's a massively good result for something that just came out of early access. Alright, so that's 10 awesome new games made with Unity launched in September 2021. Lots of variety for what the engine can do. If you want to be a successful indie game developer, you definitely need to keep an eye on the current state of your competition. I make these videos once a month so I can keep up to date with what's coming out and you should too. There's links in the description for some of the games. Those are affiliate links, so if you use them, it's the same price to you and you'll also be supporting the channel. Check out the full playlist to see some more awesome games made with Unity. Do you have any other hidden gems you found this month? Let me know in the comments. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.